Today we're gonna make fish stew. I know what you're thinking, fish stew? Yeah. Well, grow up because it's fucking delicious. Okay, I just had some. I'm shooting this out of sequence. What I'm getting ready to show you is how to make it. But in reality, I've already made it. I've already ate it. And now I'm gonna state it, okay? I'm gonna state how good it is. It's delicious. It's, you get some fish and then some white wine, a little bit clam juice, you'll see. Anyways, uh, so I've made it before, my best time I've ever made it. Now that I've eaten it though, this rivals the best time I've ever made it. But the best time I ever made it previously was with uh, cod, haddock, and shrimp. Today I did cod, red snapper and shrimp. Now I've made it in the past with some like frozen tiny little scallops and mussels and I can't remember what the other fish was, but like it, it was too fishy at that point. But some nice delicate light white fish and some shrimp and you can't go wrong. I use, as far as white wine goes, I use a Chardonnay. Uh, I like a dry white wine and uh, it calls for like a half a cup of it. I use a cup because I use more fish than it calls for. It calls for like, a, I don't know, a pound or a pound and a half. And I use like two and a half pounds or something like that. So anyways, enjoy it. Uh, watch this, maybe you'll, you'll look at it and be like, that looks good, I wanna eat that. If not, I don't give a shit because it's your life, whatever. Uh, have fun with it if you do it. Or just have fun in general, maybe? Enjoy life? I don't know. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to talk to you. Uh, okay, well, um, enjoy the video. Take about six tablespoons of olive oil, chop up an onion, saute it for about four minutes. Then add uh, three cloves of garlic for one minute. I don't know how much this is, but... Okay, add two thirds of a cup of parsley. It's probably more like a cup, but that's what the recipe says, is two thirds of a cup. And we're gonna let that cook for about two minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add uh, a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Let's eye this up. That's about one. That's about two. And then a can of diced tomatoes. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna let that gently cook for about 10 minutes. After we let this cook for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna add in a jar of this clam juice, eight ounce clam juice. And then I'm gonna add in a half cup of white wine. I use a Chardonnay and it's almost a full cup as you can see back here. But that's because I it calls for one pound of fish and I have probably closer to two pounds of fish. The fish we're gonna be using is a piece of cod, a piece of red snapper, and about a pound of shrimp. I tried this, my most successful time of making this, I used a piece of cod, a piece of haddock, and shrimp. Now I made it other times and it wasn't as successful and I used like mussels and other things and they just, it did not taste as good. So we're gonna try cod, red snapper, and shrimp. Okay, so after it's been simmering for 10 minutes, uh, we are going to add the rest of the ingredients, or most of the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add the clam juice. We are going to add the white wine. I'm going to add the fish. Let me get some tongs. I want this cutting board to melt. That's the cod. This is the red snapper. And this is the pound of shrimp. They're big shrimp. That's why there's not very many. 
put that in there, make sure try to get everything submerged. And then we'll simmer this. Uh, you want to go about three to five minutes or until the fish just naturally starts flaking apart. I'm guessing it's going to be more than five minutes, but that's just what the recipe says. Okay, now that it's been cooked and everything is flaking apart, all we got to do is add some pepper. I'm a fan of pepper, so I like to add a lot. Some salt. Pinch of oregano. A pinch of thyme. And a little hot sauce. I don't typically use Frank's, but that's all I got right now. So, I don't know. Let's just eye it up. There we go. Not even necessary, in my opinion, to have that, but what ifs? Okay. So this is ready to go into a bowl. Just serve it up with some crusty bread. Crusty brown. Crusty brown. Enjoy.